This is Dabu7, and it looks like we've got scientists admitting that they're shocked here because the evidence is leaving them puzzled as to why 3 Eye Atlas is still there. Now, we expected this. It seems like we're staying one step ahead of everything they're doing out there. We still don't have any of the government images, but 3 Eye Atlas was supposed to have broke apart at perihelion, especially with all the debris that it gave off. This massive plume, if you will, behind it. For that to, to be, they say that it should have been between 14 and 16 times larger than what it is. But it's intact. And, you know, none of us know for sure exactly what this thing is. But all the talk always gets thrown back to an alien mothership or thrusters being used because at this point they have no valid reasoning for what these jets are. These jets, the two biggest, the tails, one facing toward the sun and then the other away from the sun, the one that goes away from the sun jets out three times further than the other one. They're in like opposite directions. This isn't counting all the smaller jets that we've seen in other images that they're not even talking about now. But it's there. And it's, it's a tight, compact nucleus that you can see in this image. And for what it's worth, they're saying it's like nothing that they've ever seen. We already knew that as well. But they, they were really hoping to say, hey, told you. It broke apart. It was a comet. The fact that it's still sitting there, he's got a bunch of people scratching their head. Like, what is this? No one's ever said it was turning and coming toward Earth, at least not in the circles that I'm in. We try to keep on top of the data and strictly the data on this. And if it points towards something, then it points towards something. What it's not pointed toward is being a normal comet. This thing is everything but, and this is just another anomaly. They go on to lay out the numbers here, and they say that for this thing, which is roughly three and a half miles across, to have given off all the debris that it did, it would have had to have been in the ballpark of upwards of 30 miles wide, 32 miles across, if it was venting pure water ice into space. They're at a loss for explaining any of this. And we're still waiting for government images and information. I'll update as I get more, but this is the latest. Join me for the live streams going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, talking about this and a whole lot more in greater detail. I hope to see you there. Eyes to the skies.